This week's gospel is another part of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount and deals with how we should love our enemies. When people first heard the phrase, an eye for an eye, it was basically giving them the opportunity to seek revenge. However, it was meant to limit acts of revenge by making sure the punishment was not excessive but fits the crime. Jesus asks his followers to take a different approach by resisting retaliation altogether. This is one of the hardest teachings we are asked to follow. There are definitely times in our lives when we struggle to let things go, to not hold a grudge or to forgive someone when we really don't want to. When we hold on to hate or anger, we let it beat us. We let it fester into something that it's not, and in reality, it just causes us more pain. We know it's easy to be kind to people who are kind to us, but God wants us to be good to people who hurt us. In the end, it will hopefully bring about a transformation in them. Throughout Matthew's Gospel, he emphasises that love for God and love for our neighbour are the fundamental commands on which all else depends because God's love is unconditional. We strive to love as God does even when it is challenging. Gandhi said that an eye for an eye will only make the world blind. If we keep going around in these vicious circles of hate, nastiness and anger induced ways, we will eventually stop loving altogether. What a horrible world that would be. We can all be peacemakers wherever we go and in a small way we can help those around us forget this phrase of an eye for an eye and instead we can think about mercy over vengeance. The unending cycle of vengeance will cease eventually. It will take a lot of patience but it will be worth it in the end as it always is. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, good Lord, set me to be a strong and mighty pillar for your true church. I pray for all Christians and people of faith around the world facing persecution and discrimination. Help me each and every day, Lord, to have an open heart, to be less fortunate than me, and to be thankful for everything I have. Amen. St. John Fisher, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.